My science does carry over into my personal life. Uh, on the side, I like to do some artwork. I make small art quilts based on the things I see out either when I'm working or just walking the beach looking at things. This is an anemone that actually is only one inch big. It's called a moon glow anemone and I was just walking along the beach and there was a sand everywhere and I didn't see anything until I spotted this little teeny anemone and I just thought it was amazing that this anemone with these translucent tentacles would be such a delicate little thing in the middle of all these rocks and sand. Uh, and this one over here is actually from a piece of a diatom that I found when I was doing the work with the scanning electron microscope because diatoms have such cool patterns. Uh, they have all these pore patterns here. This is basically, this is from the center of the diatom and just one little part of a very tiny, tiny organism that has amazing structure on it. I'm just fascinated. It just Again, the textures and patterns are just gorgeous and I'm like to repeat those in my artwork to see if the, you know, can I even come close to what nature has done? I Probably not, but it's just really fun to sort of have my own expression of, of what, what nature is already doing. So.